Hey everyone, I'm Joey. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a one balloon basic balloon dog as well as a more advanced two balloon dog. Whether this is your first time balloon twisting or you're looking for a more advanced balloon dog to make, I've got something here for you today. So like this video for the YouTube algorithm before we jump in. That really helps my channel and it's a super small free way that you can show your support. Some supplies you're going to need are your handy dandy balloon inflator, one 260 size balloon twisting balloon for the basic one balloon dog, or two 260 size balloon twisting balloons for your more advanced balloon dog. I'm using Kugel brand balloons. I like these more than Qualitex for a lot of different reasons. These balloons are a little bit longer in length than Qualitex balloons, which I like because sometimes I need just a little bit more balloon to complete my shape. They're durable, they're cheaper, they arrive to my house faster. They don't arrive damaged, unlike a lot of Qualitex balloons that I've ordered. This balloon pump is a dual action pump, so that means air will shoot out the end if you pull it out and push it in. It's very convenient. I'll put links in the description below if you want to check those out. After you've got your supplies and smash that like button. Let's get started. We're going to start with our one balloon dog. So if you're looking for the more advanced balloon dog, feel free to skip through this video. Also remember that you can slow this video down or pause it at any point if you need a little bit more time twisting. We are going to inflate our balloon, leaving about a four finger length tail on the end of the balloon. The tail is just the end that's uninflated. We need this because we're going to start twisting on our nozzle side and we need room for the air to go as we twist. Once you've inflated your balloon, give it a good squeeze to soften the balloon and also to disperse the air more evenly. All of the sections in this shape we're going to make about the same length. That's going to be about a four inch section like this. So we'll make a twist here by holding one side and twisting the other side. If you let go of one of these sides, this twist is going to come undone. So as you're holding both sides, we're going to make another twist, another four inches down about right here. I usually hold on to this twist with one hand and use my other hand to create this next twist. Now, if we're holding both ends of the balloon, these twists are not going to come undone. You also need to be twisting the same side of the balloon in the same direction, or these twists are going to counteract each other. I explain a little bit more about this in my balloon twisting basics video. So if this is your first time balloon twisting, head back to that video before watching this one. It's got a lot of great tips that will set you up for success. Next, I'm going to fold this balloon down and make another twist right here but I don't need to make this twist because I'm going to end up creating a joint with it. A joint is just when you connect two twists together. So we don't need to make a twist right here. Just grab the balloon with one hand, putting pressure on your first twist and pressure over here on this side of the balloon with another finger and use your free hand to twist around these two sections. You have created a joint with this by connecting two twists, and this shouldn't come undone if you twist it around a few times. Next, we're going to make the neck of the dog. Again, we'll make it the same size four inch section. Again, we're going to hold this twist with one hand and create another twist with our free hand about four inches down. This is going to be the first front leg. Now using the same method that we used to connect this and make a joint, we are going to fold the balloon up. We can hold this balloon with one hand, putting pressure on this twist as well as on the outside right opposite of this twist and use our free hand to twist around whatever we're working on, which we're working on this part. These are the two front legs. So you can kind of start to see your dog coming along with the front of its face, the ears, the neck, the two legs. Now we're going to make a body. Again, same size, we're gonna make this about four inches. Hold the twist, make another twist for one of your back legs. Fold the rest of your balloon up. Hold it with one hand right on the twist and use your free hand to twist around these back legs. And there you have your one balloon dog. I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but if this is your first time balloon twisting, head to my balloon twisting basics video. It's got a ton of great tips in there that's going to really set you up for success if you plan on continuing balloon twisting. Don't forget to like this video for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more balloon twisting, balloon decorating, a couple of my Hawaii adventures, some music demos that I work on, business and finance tips, and anything else that I find generally helpful. If you think you've got what it takes to do this two balloon dog, grab your supplies and let's get started. The first 260 balloon that we use for this shape is going to be the dog's body and the majority color of this shape. We're going to inflate this shape leaving about a five finger length tail. 
To start off, we are going to make three consecutive bubbles. If you're unfamiliar with consecutive twists, again, head back to the balloon twisting basics video. It's got a lot of good tips in there and that will help you along with the shape. So first things first, three consecutive bubbles. I'm going to wrap the nozzle around this last twist that I made. An easy way to do that is to grab the nozzle with the same hand that I'm holding onto the rest of the balloon with so that I have a free hand to twist around whatever I'm working on. Now, because I'm using the nozzle, I'm going to stick it through these three bubbles to lock it in place. Now I'm going to make a one inch bubble and I'm going to turn this one inch bubble into an ear twist. So an easy way to do that is to keep this one inch bubble on top, fold both other sections so they're facing down and squeeze the bottoms of these sections while I lift up with the one inch bubble and twist it around. Next, we are going to make the side of the dog head and that's gonna be about a one and a half to two inch bubble. It's a little bit elongated, it's not a perfect sphere. Next I'm going to make a one inch bubble and turn it into an ear twist. Now I'm going to make the top of the head which is going to be a one and a half inch to two inch bubble similar to the side of the head here. Now I'm going to make another one inch bubble and turn that into an ear twist as well. Now I'm going to make the other side of the head, which is going to be the exact size that I made this side of the head over here. And I'm going to connect this twist into the joint in here. So reorient your head so that you have the top of your head on the top the nose and cheeks right here and this ear twist on the bottom for like the bottom of the mouth. You can practice these proportions a little bit if you want to try making your head a little bit smaller or the front of your nose a little bit bigger. You are the artist and you are gonna decide what looks best to you, so definitely play around with it and see what you like best. And this twist that we are about to do is what makes this shape an advanced shape because we've got a lot going on in this joint right here. We've got the bottom of the mouth, we've got the front of the nose, we've got the head and we need to make another twist into this joint. I'm going to make another one inch bubble and ear twist it. This is a difficult thing to do, but what I'm going to do to make it easier for myself is bend the head backwards like this so that with the majority of my hand, I can hang on to all this junk that's going on over here. And I'm going to use my thumb to press right here under this one inch bubble because air has room to go in the rest of this balloon here. I'm going to use my piece fingers to wrap around this other ear twist that I have because when I make this secondary ear twist, I want to basically just be twisting it around my two fingers. I don't want it to be touching any other parts of the balloon or it's more likely to pop. So very carefully, put pressure here, pull this one inch bubble out as far as you can without it popping and twist it around. And we are going to orient it so that this remainder of the balloon is coming out in between the two ear twists. Now I'm going to make a one inch bubble for the neck. And the rest of this shape is just the standard animal body. So I'm gonna make two front legs like we did with this one balloon dog here, a section for the body, the two back legs, and the rest is the tail. So 
So here we have the body of your advanced balloon dog. I'm using Kugel balloons, so these are a little bit longer than Qualitex balloons. So if you're using Qualitex, you'll probably need to make the proportions a little bit smaller, maybe make the legs smaller and the body smaller um, so that you have enough length for your tail. Let's inflate our second color and we're gonna add this color for the ears. We don't need to blow it up that much, uh, just probably over six to eight inches. We're gonna end up doing a quick break. Again, if you're not familiar with that, head back to the Balloon Twisting Basics video. Now, depending on the type of ears that you want your dog to have uh, is gonna depend on how you connect this balloon in. So if you want two ears to stick up just like this, you can put them on top of these ear twists and they're gonna stick up just like that. If you want two floppy ears, you can put a bend in your ears and put them below these ear twists right here. The ears that are sticking straight up, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna show you how to do the floppy ears hanging down because there's an extra step where we need to make a bend in the balloon. I want my ears to be about three inches long, so I'm gonna make a twist first and then bend the balloon. This is also a technique in the Balloon Twisting Basics video. And the way that I hook these ears in is to put it through the back. Try to get this twist as close to this joint as possible. And then roll my second balloon around this ear twist. All we need to do is make sure that it goes around one time. Then we're going to flatten the second balloon across the back of the head here. So I'm putting as much pressure as I can right here uh, against the back of the head, and I'm gonna make a twist right here and then connect it around this second ear twist. I'm also pulling out to the left here on my second balloon before I start rolling it around this ear twist. So the back of your dog head should have this very deflated uh, piece of black balloon on it. The front should look like this. And now we need to make that bend in this balloon to match our first side. It doesn't matter which way you bend the balloon because you can always turn it. Uh, so I'm, instead of bending it towards the body, I'm bending it away from the body just to give me a little bit more room to bend it. I want my ear to be about this length, but I'm gonna need another couple inches to tie it off. So I'm going to actually quick break it down here, let out some air, and then tie it off. And you can put more bend in your ears if you like to, just by pushing them together. If you want to clean up the look of your dog a little bit, uh, you can snip off the end of these with some scissors, but make sure your knot is very tight or it will come undone. So it makes it look a little bit cleaner. When I'm just doing restaurant work or line work, I don't really worry about cutting those off because it just takes extra time that I don't need to be spending if I'm trying to get through things very fast. Here's an example of a dog with those more vertical ears, more of like a Rottweiler or German Shepherd look. Now for the Sharpie art. I usually draw a triangle on the nose here with a few extra little features. And here is your advanced two balloon dog. If this was helpful or if you learned anything, don't forget to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps my channel and it's a super small free way that you can show your support. You can also subscribe for more balloon twisting, balloon decorating tutorials, listen to some of my acoustic music demos, check out some of my adventures when I lived in Hawaii, business and finance tips, and anything else that I find generally helpful or entertaining. Good luck with your balloon dog. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Joey, I'll see you next time.